Good evening, everybody. It's Christy from OK Keto. So tonight I'm going to make a mocha chihuahua. And the way I'm going to do it is I started off with a half an ounce of cream cheese. I put it in this little metal dish and I stick it on top of my waffle maker when I plug it in to preheat it just so I can use it to uh, warm up my cream cheese a little bit, swirl it around. Comes in handy. So now that's been preheated, I'm going to set it off to the side for a second. To the cream cheese, which again was a half an ounce of cream cheese, I'm going to add one large brown egg that I went ahead and whisked to my cream cheese. To that, we're going to do one tablespoon of Swerve Confectioner. One tablespoon of that. We're going to do one tablespoon of Hershey's cocoa powder. It's a uh, natural unsweetened. So one tablespoon. One tablespoon of Bake Believe dark chocolate, the chips. And then I go ahead and chop them up really finely. And then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of instant espresso powder. This is the brand I'm using. Uh, if you don't, if you want a more subtle taste of the espresso, I would do one fourth teaspoon. But again, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon because I personally love espresso. So I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients into my egg and cream cheese mixture. And when I get done with these, I'm going to drizzle it with um, some more chocolate and I'm going to do a heavy whipping cream topping and probably a little dusting of the um, espresso powder, just a little tiny dusting on top for visual effects, plus, like I said, I do like espresso. So, I do not need to spray my um, waffle maker. Nothing has been sticking in it lately, so um, if I was to spray it, I personally like to use coconut spray, but a lot of people um, say they like the avocado spray. Either way, it's up to you. I've never had an issue with the coconut spray, but I lately have not had to use it, so um, give this a good stirring. I kind of want it to be a, a cake batter consist consistency. show you what that looks like in just a minute. And there we go. So half of it into the maker. This will make two chewaffles. And if you've been following me, you know what I'm going to say next after I close this handy dandy cooling rack. As soon as this one comes off, I will be placing it on the cooling rack. Um, if I don't, I put it directly on a plate, it will cause condensation and it will get soggy and I personally don't want it soggy, so I always put mine on a cooling rack. And again, I will um, melt some of the Baked Believe dark chocolate chips and drizzle it on top with a little bit of um, heavy whipping cream and a little dusting of the espresso powder. That's just our personal liking. And I will show you that when I go to plate it up. Here it is without the heavy whipping cream with just the chocolate drizzled on it. Now we'll be putting the heavy whipping cream and a little bit of the espresso powder in just a second. And here it is plated up with a little bit of the heavy whipping cream and some espresso powder sprinkled on top. I'll show you again the brand I used. In case you were wondering. Let me go ahead and cut into this so you can see what it looks like on the inside. There it is. We are going to enjoy this for dessert. Again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.